Somewhere on this planet, there is a family waiting for their daughter to come home, not knowing that the daughter they are looking for is dead. The Campbell County Jane Doe was discovered on a quiet road, and unfortunately, it looks like she died in vain since she's remained unidentified for 21 years. I'm Kurt, and today we're going through the facts and the theories in regards to this case. Let's begin. On the 25th of October in the year 1998, on a quiet stretch of road, a man was searching for cans when he discovered a decomposing woman. When police arrived on the scene, they taped off the whole area. The road where the Jane Doe was discovered was about one mile from the I-75 exit. After the autopsy was complete, it was discovered that she had suffered. The Campbell County Jane Doe had been beaten, stabbed and shot in the head. The website called the Doe Network indicates that she may have been near a ravine where people sometimes illegally dump trash. This information isn't present in other resources, but I'll still include it here. Her autopsy report stated that her death was a homicide. They also believe that Jane Doe died only days prior to being discovered. There's been no report stating if the Doe was raped and we don't know what the Doe was wearing since police have held that information. Police have confirmed that her age is estimated to be between 30 to 40 years old. Her race is black and her height is 167 centimetres. Her weight is estimated to be 130 pounds and her eye and hair colour was brown. The only feature police have announced is that her toes had bright red nail polish. Even though the Campbell County Jane Doe was found decomposed, fingerprints were recovered. To this day, there has been no match. DNA samples were also submitted and tests were complete, but like the fingerprints, there was no match. That's when police shifted to her dentals. The position of her teeth appeared tusk-like. The crowding of her teeth would have resulted in a very recognisable smile to anyone who spoke to her. Even with all this evidence, her name is still a mystery. As I said before, the Jane Doe's clothing is unknown. The victim was found wearing a ring on her left finger, but no details have been added about that ring. There is also no photos to show you. Any personal items the Doe had on her is also unknown. I'm going to move on to some of the theories now. Just a reminder that these aren't facts and it's all speculation. Theory 1. Racism. The reason I'm putting this theory down is due to lack of evidence. There are monsters out there, and there are some people who think murdering someone over skin colour is justified. Unfortunately, if this theory does come true, it will be more difficult to find the killer, since there would be no connection between the suspect and the victim. Unfortunately, this is a strong possibility, and um, we'll just have to see where the case goes from here. Theory 2. Hitchhiking Since she was found near a highway, it is a strong possibility that the Jane Doe left to start a new life and went hitchhiking to go to a new location. But instead of finding a kind person who understood her pain, the Doe ran into a monster. People think that the Campbell County Jane Doe may have run into an unknown serial killer. Theory 3. A personal matter. Because the victim had been beaten, stabbed and shot, people think that the killer knew the victim and the victim knew the killer. They may be blood related or a married couple and it may be tied to jealousy or financial gain. But with the autopsy report it looks like it may be more than a random kill. Theory 4. A random killer. I hate to come to this conclusion, but there is a chance that someone saw the doe walking down a quiet road and took the opportunity to kill her. Some people think that the killer did this for a sexual motive, but we don't know since the police haven't released that information. 
Hopefully, her case will get solved, but as of 2019, she still remains unidentified. If you have any information in regards to this case, please call 423-562-7446. If you have any theories or comments about this case, let me know in the comment section below. On my Discord, I've created a poll with four cases. If any of them interest you, visit my Discord with the link in the description and tick which case you want to see. The case with the most ticks will be the next video uploaded to my channel. All sources I used are in the description with my social media. Subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos and consider sharing so more people can see these videos. I apologise if this video is short, the reason is due to the lack of evidence. With all of that being said, hopefully one day, the Campbell County Jane Doe will reclaim her name. Good night.